Okay guys, um, so let's get cracking. This is the problem that we're having. I have imported some animations from the asset store. These are the movement animations pro from Cubalt. And as you see, if we're on, we're in the animations pro, we're in the animations folder here, and we're taking the movement animations pro, we see that it is a humanoid. So that's correct, what we wanted. But if you go into the FBX file and you click on one of the animations, this is our problem. It's all grayed out and we have no uh, root transforms here. Now, even if you were to copy this, uh, let's duplicate it, Control D, and let's go into, the, this is the copied animation. We can now set the looping, but we can't set the uh, uh, root transforms. So how do we change that? Well, let's get into that now. So I'm just going to delete that copy I did. So delete. So now we're back to our original. Now here comes the important bit. I'm just, these are all separate FBXs with animations. I'm just going to take this movement animations pro FBX. Now do not duplicate this. You could do control D and duplicate this in Unity, but that's the wrong way to do it. You have to right mouse click, show in Explorer. So click on that. So that opens up the Explorer. So click. So now we're actually in the Explorer. Now we want to copy this, so we're going to Control C. So Control C, and we're going to paste this, and we should get yeah. This is German. Copy. This mean copy means copy. So now we have the copy. Now if we close the Explorer and click on Unity, it'll import that again into Unity. But you'll see what's going to happen. It's magic. So we click on Unity, and now it's importing. That'll take about a minute or maybe two. Depends. You have to wait and see. Okay. So it's been about 30 seconds now and it's still, it looks like it's stuck, but it is actually working. So just let it carry on. It'll be done in about another 30 seconds. It just goes quickly. And there we go. That's done. So we go into our folder here and we click on our copy. You see, this is our copied one. Here comes the magic. Let's have a look at the rig. It is generic. It changed from humanoid to generic. I didn't click anything there. It just had to actual, uh, 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 just get actualized. And now we change it ourselves to humanoid and we click here on apply. And this is going to take a little while too, I think. Did I hit the apply? Yes, I did. So I'm going to get back to you as soon as that's done. So this is taking 30 seconds till now. It looks like it's stuck, but it is actually uh, converting. So don't worry, just let it do its job um, and you'll be fine. You'll see. Okay, so that got done, and we can see now we are back to a humanoid. You don't have to do the configure because it should be configured correctly. Let's go into our copy now again. Let's open it up and click on one of these animations here. And just take a look at this. It's all there. All your transforms are there. Now, it's grayed out because you can't edit directly in a FBX. You have to make a copy of this. Now, what you do is you just scroll down and you would mark all of these animations and you would control D duplicate them. Now I'm not going to do that now because it's just going to take a little too long. So I'm just going to take one of them to just to show you. I'm going to control D duplicate it. And at the top here, we now have that duplicated animation. You could even just call it copied. Well, even if you have to type right, let's try to copied and if you have a look at the animation now you can do looping come on click or you can do your base orientations those are your base transforms so working that's it brilliant isn't it so just doing that very quickly we're going to do it one more time for another one just to show you okay that's our animations this is the one we did copy let's do another one Somehow my computer, click, okay, now let's do this fighting one, okay? So right click, show in Explorer. So we're now in the Explorer. I am going to copy this folder and I'm gonna paste it. And now we have a copy, okay? I'm gonna close, don't wanna mark that. I'm gonna close this uh, Explorer away. So we're going to Unity, click on the Unity so it actual, uh, it'll actualize. And let's just wait until that gets imported. There you go. Done. That went quite quickly this time. So we have our fighting copy up here. Let's click on it. And it should, it says generic. So we have a generic now. Now we can turn it into a humanoid. And that's going to 
update all the animations. So we're going to apply and just let that do its magic. It will take about one to two minutes. Well, okay, there's not very many animations there, so it got done quite quickly. So that's actually done. So if we go into our copy here of fighting, where is it? Fighting copy, open it up, look at one of the animations, and you can see all your uh, transforms are here. All you'd have to do is duplicate these animations, duplicate, control D, and you can see now you can do anything you want in the animations. So that's it guys, um, I hope that helped because on the YouTube there are a lot of complicated ways of doing this and this is quite necessary sometimes when you download uh, third party assets from the asset store with animations. Okay, so have fun, bye bye.